the violin was screaming into my ear, and I, I didn't understand why. Probably the violin is not my instrument. So I decided to take another diploma in viola. And also the viola was screaming. <laughs> it wasn't the violin, and it wasn't the viola. It was the frequency. I started doing everything at 432, teaching, playing. Every single time that I have a student that has to give an exam, I teach them at 432 and they know it. And after they have to go to the exam, the piano is tuned at 440, and I have to tune the violin at 440. Oh my God, I mean, it's, it's like, I don't want to die. It's, it's so aggressive, it gives me the feeling of uh, acidity. Uh, aggressive, really, back to that feeling of screaming. Goebbels, I guess, he made experimentations on soldiers at 432, 440, 450. The very same piece from the very same recording at 440, 450, their heartbeat rate were raising. So their blood pressure were raising. Their aggressivity were raising. So if the frequency has this power, there must be a way to use this power for good reasons too. This is a fresh moment, you know. This is a moment of awareness. People is waking up. 20 years ago, when the Schiller Institute started, huge names, I was shocked. Tebaldi, and I was like, oh my God. Now you go on YouTube, you go on, on Facebook, there is a Russian guy. I have a colleague in Bulgaria, in Brazil. Italy is full of people crazy about the 432. So it's spreading so fast and so quick. I can't see myself doing anything else, really. And it's not because I'm here now, but I'm here now because of this. It's the other way around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Camerata Gimignani is just one part of the Gimignani project, which is quite articulated project. It involves the creation of a camerata, which is a chamber orchestra. It involves the creation of an academy. It involves a piano, trio. Thank you.